Our foreign policy calls for a direct, robust, and meaningful engagement with the world. It is American leadership based on vital security interests that we share with our allies all across the globe. Mr. Speaker. Speaking before a joint session of Congress, President Donald Trump assured American allies that the United States is prepared to take a leadership role. The President expressed strong support for NATO, calling it an alliance forged through the bonds of two world wars that dethroned fascism and a Cold War that defeated communism. He cautioned, however, that America's partners must meet their financial obligations. We expect our partners, whether in NATO, the Middle East, or in the Pacific, to take a direct and meaningful role in both strategic and military operations and pay their fair share of the cost. President Trump added that the U.S. will respect historic institutions, but it will also respect the sovereign rights of nations. Free nations are the best vehicle for expressing the will of the people, and America respects the right of all nations to chart their own path. War and destruction around the globe have led millions to flee their homes. But the only long-term solution for these humanitarian disasters, said President Trump, is to create the conditions where displaced persons can safely return home and begin the long process of rebuilding. America is willing to find new friends and to forge new partnerships where shared interests align, said President Trump. We want harmony and stability, not war and conflict. We want peace wherever peace can be found. America is friends today with former enemies. Some of our closest allies decades ago fought on the opposite side of, of these terrible, terrible wars. This history should give us all faith in the possibilities for a better world.